Hello. What about that? Crop circle. I've got a dotty sister-in-law lives in Devon with my young brother. She says these scenes are made by people stumping around in the middle of the night with planks of wood tied to their feet or pieces of wood tied to their feet. Well, I mean, just look at the intricate pat all the way around. Look. Well, to say that, young farmers drunk stabbing around in the field in the middle of the night is showing gross ignorance. What causes them? Well, you tell me. On that website, growing up in the 50s and 60s, I put a posting up, if you're old enough, can you remember two-way family favourites on the BBC Light programme every Sunday at 12 o'clock. It's one o'clock in Germany, 12 o'clock in the UK, one o'clock in Germany, time for two-way family favourites with Gene Metcalf and Cliff Mitchellmore. Cliff later came over from Germany and met Jean and they later married and had children and I think both have passed away now. But you know, I do go back a long way. <laughs> I'm 77 now. 70 bloody seven. God. But anyway, Andrew and I, when we lived in Somerset, we went to see one of these crop circles at Marlborough in Wiltshire, a short drive from where we lived, that street in Somerset. And we went down into the crop circle, the corn, because it was nothing like this pattern. But in the middle of the circle, the corn had been flattened clockwise, in a clockwise direction. I put my fingers under and lifted the top layer and underneath the corner had been flattened in an anti-clockwise direction. I explained that. Okay. And the experts who examined the corn said the molecular structure of the corn had changed. Speaking to the farmer who was charging people for going down, trampling over all his corn, paid about 50p I think and he said when it first appeared the farm dogs wouldn't go anywhere near it they took the dogs down there but the dogs just ran away and one of the workers went in a circle and felt very disorientated but anyway ignorant people will disbelieve and say oh that was Charlie and Fred Pissed up, stamping round in the middle of the night, pieces of wood strapped to the shoes. <laughs> I've got the window open, and uh, there's not a lot happening here. Just had fish and chips from the chippy. Very nice fish and chips, I must say. And uh, life goes on. The same day after day. Yeah, we really got a lot more to say. So I'll leave it at that. Catch you all later. Bye.